welcome to the clean up, build up press conference. Clean up, build up started when we received a phone call from a senior citizen, uh, Mrs. Jones, that lives in the Wells Goodfellow neighborhood. She was complaining and she was informing us of the conditions in her neighborhood. And her primary focus was on the opioid crisis that had engulfed her entire block. We came out, met with Mama Jones as we come to know her, and we started a cleanup effort that has grown into cleanup buildup. The focus is to focus on some of the most hardest hit areas and come in with the effort of tearing down vacant and abandoned properties that are beyond repair. We're not looking to tear down buildings that can be repaired because we believe that as we begin to work on the human capital, as we begin to make our neighborhoods safer, then we will have the need to begin to remodel properties. We're going to go ahead and open up the way that we know we must open up, and that is with prayer. So please welcome to the podium Pastor Johnson of Messenger Church from right here in the Hyde Park neighborhood. We are also very happy that Pastor Johnson is a member of the Grill to Glory movement that is sweeping St. Louis, Kansas City at this time, looking to elevate the neighborhood church and make the neighborhood church a focal point so we can really begin to shift the current spirit in society. Please welcome Pastor Johnson. Thank you, Brother Clark. I'm honored to be here today, and uh, let me uh, just open with prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this wonderful day that you've given us. I thank you for all that are here today. You said that you were a redeemer and a restorer, and you are beginning to restore what's been stolen out of this neighborhood. These are your children, your, your sons and daughters that live here, and you love them so much. And I thank you, Lord, that there is care and love amongst your people to come, that we might come together and work together in the fields. You said the fields were white with harvest. Yeah. Pray the Lord of the harvest to send workers. Well, you've sent workers today, Lord. You've answered our prayer. And we thank you for the workers. We thank you for the Urban League and Brother James Clark and all that they're doing for our city and for those in great need. I thank you, Lord, that you have allowed us to be a part of this neighborhood and allowed us to work and minister in this neighborhood for many years. And I thank you for that. We see the work that you're doing. We see lives being changed through the love of Christ and the love of God through all of these who come and those who go out with real to glory and those who are working in the Urban League. Lord, I pray that you would protect each and every one of them. Bless this work that's to be done. We pray a continued blessing over this neighborhood. We pray that your hands would be come down and, and the Holy Spirit wrap your arms around those who feel unloved, those who feel like they're disenchanted, those who feel like they've been left alone, those in great need. Lord, help us to see the need and meet the need. This is right where you would be if you were here today, Lord. And we thank you so much that you have put us in that place. You have showed us an example of what to do. Lord, we thank you so much for that. And we ask you, Lord, to continue to bless this work. Bless each and every one. Protect everyone in Jesus' holy name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Johnson. Let's give him another round of applause. This effort is not possible without the support of the Regional Business Council. We have a strong partner in the Regional Business Council in the Urban League programs. And at this point, I just want to acknowledge the hardest working group of people that I've had the pleasure of working with, the men and women of the Division of Public Safety, represented here by our gun violence de-escalation team, our uh, case management team, our urban opioid triage team, our health care navigators. These men and women are in the neighborhoods doing the work to revitalize the human capital once again. That work is not possible 
without the support of the Regional Business Council. Want to acknowledge Austin, who is across the street. Austin, thank you for all your work. Let's give Austin a hand. And we have some important partners here today, a gentleman that I've known for about 30 years. Uh, I respect the work that he does because he's a corporate partner, but he also understands the needs of the common men and women in the neighborhood. He is the president, the founder, the president and CEO of Kwame Building Group. Please welcome Mr. Tony Thompson. Thank you, James. He's right. We, uh, we've been in this mission, and I'd like to really give James another big round of applause because no one has been involved with this struggle uh, for the improvement of our community as hard and as long as Mr. Clark. We started that mission 30 years ago, as he said, and he's been sticking with it. So Clean Up Build Up is, is a public-private partnership between the Regional Business Council, Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, and the City of St. Louis. This event is driven by Regional Business Council member companies, including McCarthy, Fred Weber, Keeley Companies, Perrick, S.M. Wilson, Busey Bank, and the Kwame Building Group. RBC members take hands-on approach to community engagements, and we are action-driven. Thank you to the RBC member project lead for Hyde Park, Scott Whitcup, President and CEO of McCarthy. RBC members aim to increase public safety, quality of life, and hope in Hyde Park. Hyde Park neighborhood re revitalization is part of a larger effort by RBC to invest in the area, including the organization that are already making a difference like Dream Builders for Equity. Thank you to our partners at the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, City of St. Louis, and particularly Mayor uh, Tashara Jones and Director Neil Richardson. Thank you and have a good day. We are very happy to have uh, the mayor of the city of St. Louis here with us. Uh, we know where the mayor's heart is. It is in making sure that the resources needed to develop the human capital um, is there. When we look at the issues facing the St. Louis metropolitan area, the mayor has demonstrated her commitment and at the Urban League, our CEO, Mr. Michael Patrick McMillan, stands with the mayor as she looks to move St. Louis forward and really began to make St. Louis a model city for the entire country. Please welcome to the podium the mayor of the city of St. Louis, Tashara Jones. Good morning. Uh, <clears throat> I'm excited to join our partners for this year's cleanup build up announcement for 2022. When I was growing up in Walnut Park in the Wells Goodfellow neighborhoods, my family and friends formed a network that helped make our neighborhood safe and made it a nurturing place for our families to grow up. But as decades, decades of disinvestment have torn our communities apart. Cleanup build up helps repair that fabric by demolishing vacant buildings, cleaning up lots, hauling debris, fortifying communities and building up neighborhoods. We're making them safer in the long run. And as the city continues to address vacancy and vacant buildings, every community cleanup is an opportunity to change the way our neighborhoods look and feel and makes, meaningful, uh, makes a meaningful difference. The city's proud to partner with the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, the Regional Business Council and member construction companies for this year's event in Hyde Park. This year, city employees and partners will also be on hand to connect residents with job opportunities, offering information on city services, and offering utility assistance through Heat Up, Cool Down St. Louis. It's a one-stop shop for everyone in the neighborhood to connect with the city. I want to thank the Urban League of Metropolitan St. Louis, Alderman Brandon Bosley, the Regional Business Council, and all of our city workers and volunteers for coming together to make this important event happen. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Jones. Next, I want to bring up another RBC member, the president of Busey Bank, Mr. Tom Reeves. Thank you, James. 
I am very pleased to represent Busey Bank as part of this strong and very impressive effort. This is a true team effort that started a number of years ago and has built into an incredible, incredible momentum builder. Busey has 20 banking locations in the St. Louis metropolitan area. A core principle has always been reinvesting its talent, experience, and resources back into its communities. This Saturday will highlight the true hands-on community engagement and regional teamwork at its finest. And we are excited to be part of it. We're proud members of the Regional Business Council, made up of top executives from 100 of the biggest employers and companies in the region. Our mission is to support and promote ways to build and strengthen our local economy, as well as improve the vitality and the quality of life, including education, developing young leadership, crime and public safety, and as Tony mentioned, even investing in organizations that are already doing and making a difference, such as Dream Builders for Equity. I might add the cleanup buildup did first start with some individual companies and discussions at RBC, and the whole goal was to turn discussion into true action. We look forward to joining the other members of our team that you have already had introduced and the coordination with my good friend and longtime friend, Tony Thompson, and also Scott Whitkoff, the president of McCarthy. The coordination is impressive. Also, we appreciate the leadership of Mayor Tashara Jones as well as the SLDC director, Neil Richardson. All of us joining forces in the Hyde Park with the residents, the businesses, the North County and city political leadership to clean up, build up, re-energize, and reimagine this neighborhood. I thank you, and I appreciate being part of it and being part of this unbelievable team. Thank you. Thank you, Tom. Busey Bank has been a strong supporter of Clean Up, Build Up from day one, and we want to thank you for your continued support. Next, I want to uh, bring to the microphone a young man that I've watched grow up, and he took on the mantle of leadership. I have the pleasure of counseling him from time to time, and the most important thing that I tell him is, Brandon, just keep moving forward. I've watched him grow from this big to the man that, that he is right now. Please welcome a leader of today and tomorrow, the Alderman of the Third Ward, Mr. Brandon Bosley. I got to get his collar straight. I appreciate that. You know, oh, we, we all need help from time to time, and I appreciate everybody being here. Thank you very much to every partner that is here. Thank you very much to the mayor's administration. This is very, very important to our community. A lot of us that live in these communities are broken, just like you see the houses around, the grass that needs to be cut. We have needs. And the community working together to, to help realize what it is that we need to actually heal with a lot of the different issues and problems that we're going through on a regular basis comes from the physical things that we see in our community. As we go by as past these uh, streets and we see broken windows, our children see these things as well. As you know about the broken window theory, broken windows, brokenness leads to more emptiness and brokenness. Building our community back is what we have to build uh, our foundation back on and letting our individuals that will be here for years and years to come, these children. Yes, yeah, these children that will be here for years and years to come, seeing what working with community partners looks like. For a very long time, we've been asking for a mayor's administration to step in and do massive amounts of work in our communities like this, working with the community partners and organizations that have been working 
for years just to generate some type of traction on the north side of St. Louis. So this is one of those times where we can say we actually have come to the table and great things have manifested and will continue to manifest. This is an example of what working with all of these partners and community members looks like. So we really appreciate the mayor. Thank you for pouring back into the city of St. Louis. Thank you for pouring back into the north side because we cannot build the city of St. Louis without building the north side up as well and building up those forgotten places like the west side. We have to take care of those people who have been stepped on for all these years. But we need, uh, we're going to lift them up. And that's just what it comes down to. Look at this building behind me. It's been like this for months and months. We're going to take this building down in just a few days. And the children that trans, uh, use transportation here every single day won't have to see this black. They won't go past their school, on the way to school, feeling empty like their community. You know, you get to, to, to see something different. You actually get to, you know, feel the change. So, once again, I appreciate everybody being out here. I'm super excited about this weekend. We get to get jobs for our community. Once again, we got jobs. We're going to have a pop-up city hall right here across the street in the park. So when we're talking about healing our community and we say people need jobs, we're going to have them out here. Not only will you have a job, you'll see those departments working, doing the job that you could potentially be a part of. So this is what the city needs, and this is what our city needs to heal. So we appreciate you. Thank you very much to every organization that has helped put this together, every bank that's helped fund it. I mean, you all are amazing, and if we continue to do things like this within the city, you know, this is how you eat an elephant. We're taking it one bite at a time. You know, this, this is our city, and let's continue to take it back and elevate those people who are doing the work. Let's elevate this mayor's administration, continue to elevate Urban League and every single partner that is working with Urban League and our mayor's office to help create a cohesive St. Louis. Thank you very much. Brandon Bosley, a leader for today and tomorrow, and you all heard his common theme working together. Sometimes we look at the city and we look at the county and we don't understand the need to work together. The Regional Business Council and the Urban League understands that the cleanup, build up model is not only needed in St. Louis City, it's also needed in St. Louis County and it's also needed in East St. Louis. We had the distinct pleasure of working with Councilwoman Webb in the Castle Point neighborhood, we came in and we did a lot of groundbreaking work that has started a, a renaissance in the Castle Point neighborhood. So please welcome to the microphone, Councilwoman from St. Louis County, Sh Shawanda Webb. Good morning, everybody. My name is Councilwoman, my name is Shalonda Webb, Councilwoman of the 4th District, which includes Spanish Lake, Glasgow, Hazelwood, Florissant, and Castle Point, which is really dear to my heart. I am here to tell just a testimony of how a partnership with the RBC, the Urban League Cleanup Buildup can revitalize and restore hope in a community. Not only is it an eyesore when your youth have to pass blighted buildings, but it's also a crime element. It's also a danger. Yeah. And what the Urban League Cleanup Buildup in RBC came in to do to Castle Point, even though we couldn't tear down a building, it allowed us to get rid of a lot of overgrowth, uh, dumping, and a lot of other hazardous uh, materials in the area that also harms our community. I am so grateful that I've been brought into the fold of the RBC and the Urban League cleanup buildup. I consider myself their little sister from the county, and I'm not going anywhere, because there's plenty of work to do. But this work is so needed and so valued. Just since that cleanup, there's been less crime in the Castle Point area, just because they don't have those blighted areas that's overgrowth to hide in. There's been more hope restored to the youth with the partnership with the police department and the youth in Castle Point. So again, this is just a starting point, yeah. and it's so necessary. I am a woman after the alderman's heart, and I know how much joy he has because I had that same joy back in April when we did this in the spring for Castle Point. Don't give up your hope on your neighborhoods. Don't give up the hard work because it all will pay off. The people that we serve, that we love, that we worship with, they are in our communities. And this helps all of us in our communities. So again, I'm so grateful to be a part of this partnership, to be a benefactor of this partnership, and whatever I can do to help shout the message from the mountaintop that this is needed and appreciated. So thank you, Mr. Austin from the RBC, and thank you, Mr. Clark.
from the Urban League because this is so appreciated. And we're here as the county partners in this new relationship. Thank you. Thank you. Leadership. Leadership. We also want to acknowledge uh, Mr. Michael Woods from Dream Builders for Equity. Has Mr. Woods made it? Mr. Woods is not here. That organization is doing some phenomenal things to renovate and to really, and to educate young people on the importance of home ownership and property ownership. That's one thing that I stress to my staff on a regular basis. So Dream Builders for Equity is a partner with the Urban League and the Regional Business Council doing some very phenomenal things in the city of St. Louis, right here in uh, Hyde Park. Now we're gonna go over the, the, uh, the run of show for Saturday. Uh, the construction companies will start at approximately 8 a.m. At 8 a.m. also, volunteer registration will begin. At 8.30, we will have a safety meeting and opening remarks. At 9 o'clock, the work will begin. At 11 o'clock, lunch will be served, and it will be served through our partners at uh, New Way, they provide us with some good beef hot dogs, y'all. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Uh, at from 11, no, from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., we will have pop up City Hall, Sister Washington. Pop up City Hall. Do you want to come give us a thumbnail on pop up City Hall? Come, come on, Sister Washington, and we got to give her her props. One of the hardest workers, employees in the in, in the city of St. Louis. Give us a thumbnail of pop up City Hall. Good morning. My name is Karen Washington. I'm the Neighborhood Improvement Specialist Outreach Supervisor. Saturday, City Hall will be coming into Hyde Park. We are hiring. We're hiring in every department. We're hiring in Streets Department, Refuse. We're hiring in um, Neighborhood Stabilization Office for Customer Service Reps and Neighborhood Improvement Specialists. We're also hiring in the Health Department. All the departments uh, will be here, personnel will be here, so if you know someone that needs a job, that needs a career, that needs training, on-the-job training, please stop by our pop-up city hall in Hyde Park Saturday morning, and we will be there to give them information and also assist them in applying for city jobs. Thank you. That's right. Pop-up city hall. That's ingenuity, that's creativity, and that's bringing the city resources straight into the neighborhood. Next, I want to introduce a gentleman, uh, Mr. Lance Knuckles, over LRA, Brother Nash. You, you, you are new. I, I haven't had the, the pleasure of uh, meeting you yet, Mr. Knuckles. Yes, sir. Welcome aboard, man, and uh, we Thank look you, forward sir. to working with you. Yes, sir. Mr. Lance Knuckles. So, good morning, everyone. Uh, first of all, on behalf of my boss, Neil Richardson, I want to say thank you all, RBC and the Urban League, more importantly, our mayor, Tashara Jones, for all the great work you all are doing here in this community. This is the right moment, yes. at the right time, doing the right work. Yes. This is the manifestation of what public-private partnership can look like and our ability to do it across our city transforming the city of St. Louis one neighborhood at a time. Yes. So as we move forward, you have a commitment from me to participate in this process as the director of LRA to always be involved and engaged to understand how we bring LRA properties to bear to support economic growth and opportunities. So I just want to say thank you and I look forward to doing some work and rolling my sleeves up yeah. on Saturday. Yeah. So thank you all so very much for being here. Thank you, Mr. Knuckles. Yes, sir. Thank you for your energy and for your vision. When we look at the St. Louis metropolitan area, we've got to lift it. You can't lift St. Louis from the top because only the elite benefit. You can't lift St. Louis from the middle because only part of St. Louis is lifted. When you lift St. Louis, you've got to go all the way down to the neighborhood level and lift. And that's the vision of clean up, build up. I would be remiss if I did not acknowledge Ms. Ms. Laura Ginn, 
who was uh, with us. Laura, y'all, y'all, let's please give Laura a um, round of applause for all of her help over the years to help this model continue to grow. So, if there are no questions from my friends in the media, uh, I'm going to ask Pastor Johnson to come back. He prayed us in. We're going to ask him to pray us out. Pastor Johnson. Heavenly Father, I thank you again for this opportunity. I thank you for all that you have brought together. This is a work that has been accomplished out of love. And I thank you for that love that you've put in each and everyone's heart that is here today. We would know how to love each other except you gave us that first example of how to love. And we thank you so much for that love. I pray, Lord, that you would bless, bless this labor, bless the ideas, the, the collaboration, all the things that go together to make this happen. And we thank you so much because the ultimate winners are your children, the children that walk by here, Lord. I've, so many times I've said, how can children walk by four dilapidated buildings before they see that one is inhabitable and think that things are good in their life and thinks that things are being built up? And I thank you for a heart that sees that and has come to help. Lord, we thank you for the help that you have sent. Lord, I pray that you would continue to bless, protect the work that will be done on Saturday, help everyone else that will be here, that they might see your need and it would grow, that you would bring fruit out of this, out of this labor, that you would bear much fruit in Jesus' name. Amen.